I'm going to provide a copy of a progress tracker in the description box. So take a look at that if this interests you and just make a copy and use it however way you want. Here it is. So uh, it's in a Google Forms and I broke up into three sections. The first section is just, you know, find your name. And why do I say find your name? Because it's in a uh, drop down option. So uh, you could just put all your students' names in here, but the student will uh, just see an arrow and they click on it and they need to look for their name. And I'll show you the student version or the student mode uh, in a minute. Add all the names that you want. Now, if you don't know how to add names, you can just go Tom and then hit enter and then it just automatically makes a new line for you to write a new name down. If you don't want that, you can hit the X and then it's gone. And then I made another section. If you need to make sections or um, uh, questions, you just hit this addition button. This section says, what did you finish today? Uh, or, you know, I could add, uh, what do you want to finish today? And I just said, you can use the resources section anytime. So again, uh, for this section, it's broken up into three categories. I have reading, math, and writing. And then I have all the programs that my students have used in the classroom that they're comfortable with. And I've listed them all in there. Now, the whole point of this is that they're gonna choose one thing each day to try. So they're gonna choose one thing in this category, one thing in math, and then one thing in writing. And then my third section is just checking in with them. How are you today? You know, and I just put uh, a couple of simple answers and try to make it as simple as possible. You don't want 50,000 questions. Uh, you just want to kind of check in with them. And I, I'm still going to assign uh, quizzes, tests, or assess uh, any kind of assessment. Um, this is something on top of that. I want to provide a flexible learning environment digitally. This is going to be a great tool for me to keep track of everything, but I'm still going to assign things. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, assigning quizzes and stuff, check. Actually, if you want some more ideas of how to use Google Classroom, I've been posting a lot of videos lately on Google Classroom and I'll just share some links somewhere around here. There'll, it'll be an eye that swooshes around and you can just click on that link. So uh, if you're interested in more of these Google Classroom tutorials. Back to this. So I only have three sections and I already showed you that. And here's what the student sees. So this is the student mode and I'm just gonna choose Bobby. And let's see, today I feel like I want to do Pebble Go, and I want to do Prodigy. I'm just going to write in my journal today. All right, you know, I, I feel like with all these three, it's a couple of hours, an hour and a half to two hours worth of work, maybe more, maybe less, um, depending on the activity that they choose. But again, I want to make it flexible. I'm not sure how often my students will check in. I'm hoping daily. Um, that's my hope. And let's see, they I've already checked all this. I'm going to hit next. And then I get to choose what mood I'm in. Um, I'm feeling good. So I'm going to click that. And I'm done. So what does that mean for the teacher? So I'm going to go into teacher mode. So here, the teacher mode, you can see I have four responses. Yes. I want to click on it and it shows me that I have sample one. So one student that checked in three times today. Is that what I'm looking for? Not really, but it's great that they decided to keep accessing Google Classroom. And if they want to keep showing me what they've done today, that's great. I'm not going to uh, be upset about that. So then uh, I look at the section. So this breaks it down on the activities that students have done. And then I can see how students are feeling. If I want to, I can save this as a spreadsheet at the end of the week. And the spreadsheet will look like this. It'll give me a timestamp, which I love. Uh, so I can keep track of the days, uh, how many days came in. If my district is wanting to know that information, I have it here. 
and then I can see what activities they did. Now, how can I adapt to my students? Uh, like I said before, I can see and if I notice sample one has done journeys multiple times this week, so one, two, all in one day already, um, I might want to take journeys out or recommend a different program for that student. What's another one that this person has done? Sample one has done Spelling City multiple times. I can go into that program and see how they're doing in that program. If, I, if they're getting a lot of things wrong, that's where I can make a contact with parents and say, hey, um, I'm noticing that the student has been having a hard time with spelling or with uh, initial sounds, whatever it says, whatever the data says in the program. And then that's where I can build that communication with the parents. Yes, it's a little weird because I'm not seeing them. I'm not being there to practice with them, but I can still offer support and I can accommodate the needs for the students too. And again, I can also recommend different programs later on if I need to, but that's what I am planning to do with this uh, document. Now, how am I going to uh, put it in my Google Classroom? Again, I'm going to create it as an assignment. Again, I can post a video of my instructions. I can write the instructions. I'm going to go to Google Drive. I just added it. And then over here, I'm going to make sure it's ungraded. I don't, I'm not going to grade at all. I mean, you could. I think it'll be easily trackable um, once they sign in and have access. I can just go right here and see how they do. And then I can just go on those programs too. Uh, so there's different ways to kind of grade the, this area. And then topic, I'm going to put this under attendance because I'm, this is a check-in uh, process that I'm going to have kids do on a daily basis. And then I would just reset my responses at the end of the week. So I just delete them all because I've already saved it on my spreadsheet. So the data is already there. And then I can just save this data on my Google Drive or in a folder on my desktop. Hopefully that's helpful and meaningful. And see you next time.